in Home Depot and we are in the lumber aisle. We're building a fireplace today. So right now we're getting two by fours and two by sixes, all of the deck screws, and we're about to start the framing. So let's get it. First thing I did was grab about 10 two by fours and two two by sixes for the framing. Also went ahead and got enough lumber for the bracing so that later I could mount any deer, my 65 inch TV, as well as the reclaimed wood mantle. That is going to be the next video. And so we're just loading up all of the lumber and it was fun driving back with all that wood in the back of my truck. I think my 250 is a longer bed, but I've personally never hauled anything that long before. So the 16 foot ladder, no, it was a 14 foot ladder, plus the lumber was something new that I had never done. All, right, all of the two by fours and two by sixes have been loaded. We are looking for, what is it, wood glue, deck screws, um, a saw and anything else that we need. I don't know why I love coming to Lowe's. I just love the smell of hardware stores. Let's see how much of this fireplace I'll actually be able to do. And I don't know why my truck cut off the Bluetooth audio of this clip, but I was just telling y'all that we were getting all the lumber loaded up. We got an A-frame ladder for getting up to the tippy top of this fireplace and headed on the way. We've got the 50 inch mapped out, drywall all the way around and the faux stone going all the way up to the top. The tiles were not that easy to work with only because I had bought a lot of the corner pieces and due to the customized size of my fireplace, I had to do a lot of trimming. So I did a lot of measuring to fit those into the spaces. I cut the shiplap in a few different spots just because I had already cut the length of it and had to make sure that it slid just beside the other piece like a puzzle. And just like that, it fit right in. This is what I meant by all of the corners. The corners went all the way up, but it created a few spaces that I had to make sure were all the same length before I cut those pieces to fit in.
You might as well call me a carpenter after this because I learned how to use a handsaw on this job. Quick intermission to love on my girl Harper because she's the best dog in the world. I'll admit this project was a little frustrating, but I saved a lot of money and it looks just as good as the real thing, so I'm happy. Some of the boards that were cut had some rough edges that were not exactly flush to the front of the fireplace. Those will be caulked and then painted and you won't even notice. I can't reach that. <laughs> Fun fact about me, even though I like to hunt and sit in tree stands, I am in fact afraid of heights. So climbing this 14 foot ladder wasn't the funnest thing I've ever done in my life, I'll admit it. with a 50 inch touchstone, I believe it's called a sideline electric fireplace. Here I'm just pulling out all of the crystals that will go over the LED panel and create a beautiful illumination over the heated electric fireplace. Here I am taking the glass off of the electric fireplace so that I can add the crystals in. 
and then I will put the glass back on and set it on the wall. With this fireplace, you could choose between faux logs or the crystals for the embers. And I chose to use the crystals because I thought it looked more real. It was pretty. I especially love this fireplace because it has the LED color changing, but you can not only change the flame effect from high to low and the color of the flame, but the ember color as well. And it has so many different colors, I was utterly obsessed. And that'll do it for this week. Next week, I will be adding the frame for the front hearth of the fireplace, as well as mounting my excess deer and mounting my wood mammal. I'm going to to feed the deer because season opens in about 14 days, and these deer are hungry. putting out more mineral and next week I will be perfecting the property to make sure that it is absolutely perfect for opening day. I'll see y'all then.